Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com and we are talking about training your body, activating your physical body, having this vital body that you can really enjoy in your life. And um, we are covering some techniques and tools and strategies because being in good health and being super activated is really a battle okay it's a battle to conquer whatever is happening inside of you and really make sure that your body stays optimized so what i'm going to cover in this video is four training environments and how to master them the four training environments are very simple it's your house nature urban environment and the gym in the gym here it can be also your yoga studio other types of uh, you know, civilized environments or created environments where you can go and train your body, okay? So, the reason why I'm talking about this is because very often people will go like, um, I don't have a gym nearby, therefore I cannot train. So, it's like this is like the favorite excuse that you might use when uh, you don't want to activate your body. So, <clears throat> We are going to start with the first one, your house. It hurts my feelings to arrive in so many houses out there when I'm visiting friends and people around the world and not to see a space which is adapted to simply moving your body. Here's what I see most of the times. You arrive, there is the master bedroom, okay? The bedroom is like there is this big bed there taking all the space, that's it. That room is unusual, uh, un impossible to use for any form of physical activation besides um, having a good night of sex, maybe. But it's like there is no space. There is no space to move your body. You arrive in the main living area and it's going to be table, chair, couches, big screen TV. Very often, that's it. There is no space. So how are you going to, why are you going to put your yoga mat? Where are you going to set up some, some gym equipment or anything, anything to, to give you space to move? You, you put some music, you cannot dance, you cannot move. So it's like you are walking around with a very limiting environment because there is no space to actually train. So that already is setting up a certain intention which says, here's what we do in this house. We sit down on the couch, we eat around the table, we make some food in the kitchen, and, but there is no place that is conductive to activating your physical body. And that's really a pity, okay? I'm going to show you what I have here in this space so that you understand how this works. Here you go. I've got this uh, beautiful thing here, which is called an home gym. And the whole place becomes like a fitness or yoga center and I have three of them here is another one hanging and when we do activations here with uh, with my tribe that's it we are all set up we are ready to start with some uh, juicy activations the the second thing that you notice in this space here we go this is where we do the activations in the morning ah uh, do you see any furniture in here nothing no furniture <laughs> no tables we sit on the ground and it's fun. We have these nice couches that uh, I move into the space when we are a tribe and we have to sit down and, uh, and have conversations or uh, eat together. So this is important to understand. It is that the way you design your personal environment is going to make it conductive for you to train or not. Okay, so you get the idea, right? Uh, don't use the fact that um, the um, you know your personal space is not adapted it's up to you to adapt it to create a, um, a training friendly uh, environment it's really a pity to have all this furniture around you know it's like you have this very special place for your books and this very special place for your um, um, you know big screen tv and audio systems and so on and where is the space for for the juice, for giving juice to your body, please do something about that. It's very important. Uh, second environment, nature. 
nature is fantastic to train. You have trees, you have rivers, you have rocks. You can play with that a lot. One of my favorite environments to, to train and to do yoga is really to go down into a river nearby. You have those big rocks, these big boulders, and you go and you start doing yoga poses on, on these rocks. So you do your energy training, you go into the water, you do things in, in the water itself. You can go swim, you can uh, play with trees, jog through the forest. There is lots of possible possibilities there. And of course, it's a little bit more obvious than doing that in your, in your home. The, the third environment is the urban environment. Very often you are in the city, there are no parks around, there is nothing. What do you do? You go on the rooftops, six o'clock in the morning, and you start ah, you know, breathing and activating your body. It's freezing cold, it might be New York, you know, the way I've been doing it like uh, a year ago. You arrive there, the sun is rising and there is fresh wind coming in and you are there, you know, doing some push-ups or activating or taking some yoga poses. It's massively empowering. You're connecting with the spirit of the city and giving yourself a boost for a thing in the morning. So this urban environment, whether you go jogging or you do something there, um, you know, this is why all these skateboarders and, and other, you know, activity parks are, are there because we want to turn the uh, urban environment into a space which is fun or that we master. So taking off on a jog in the streets is massively empowering. You know, the, one of the, the most fun moments that I had when I was in, in Shanghai a couple of years ago was to take off and go and jog through the streets for like uh, an hour with my friend and we were, you know, running and connecting with people and there was all this movement of energy, very different than walking through the streets with your hands in your pocket, um, watching shops and trying to buy stuff. It's, you know, this is a mastery. It's something that you can really play with. And of course, the fourth environment is uh, the gym, the, the yoga studio, any form of fitness or any form of space that is created specially for, for training. And um, that one is the easiest to use. But if you don't have access to a gym, you know, or you think it's too expensive, you don't want to invest the money, don't use that as an excuse, okay? I don't buy it, and you should not buy it either, <laughs> okay? It's, uh, you have your house, you have nature, you have urban environments. It might be a little bit more challenging because it's not environments that are protected in the same way. They're not conditioned in the same way. So you have to put your own little effort into mastering these environments. But I encourage you to go for it, okay? No excuse, no excuse. Use them. I'll see you soon again. Bye-bye.